Good morning. Welcome to ABC One Two Three Trader. This is Mike, and uh, I'll just do the risk disclaimer, and we'll go from there. All forms of trading carry a high level of risk, so you should only speculate with money you can afford to lose. You can lose more than your initial deposit and stake. Please ensure your chosen method matches your investment objectives. Familiarize yourself with the risks involved, and if necessary, seek independent advice. U.S. government required disclaimer is. Commodity Futures Trading Commission, trading financial instruments of any kind, including options, futures, and securities have large potential rewards, but also large potential risk. You must be aware of the risk and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the options, futures, and stock markets. Do not trade with money you cannot afford to lose. This video is for educational purposes only, and uh, so you can understand I'm going to be calling it how I set up or, or the life of a day trader, I guess. Alrighty, let's get into it. Put the screen here for you guys. Boom. Alrighty. Good morning, guys. This is Mike, and I'm going to be doing some recorded videos for a little while yet. The volatility is a little crazy. I want to get these gremlins out of my I've been back testing, back testing, back testing. I don't know if it's my internet connection. I have no idea. So with that being said, let's take a look at the markets. So the very first thing when I'm a day trader, I'll always carry my book around and I write what I see in the markets. And I'll always start with news just to see what's the sentiment of the market, what they're trying to be trying to do. And what kind of psychological effects are there? Because basically, majority of our trading is psychological. If you can overcome the psych psychology of trading and you start understanding methodologies, you can become a very consistent trader. It takes time though. I mean, I have failed more times than you could ever imagine. So with that being said, let's start taking a look at the markets and see exactly what's going to be happening here. Because I'm going to be trading NASDAQ futures today, they're actually kind of, well, I won't say an opposite, but there was a bigger retracement than it was before. Okay. It also shows here that Dow futures rise. We also know that they passed the 1.9 trillion on the Senate side, still waiting for the House. And they'll probably go through the House because they're just punching everything. Now, when we look at the other one, Fox Business, find Fox Business, no first thing. Nasdaq features slammed as bond yields. I'm sitting past one pair. Okay, whatever. Oil, which blowing, blowing me away, it is skyrocketing now. It's amazing. But the the bottom line is, is you can start seeing they're trying to set up their positions. The interesting thing is we did do an inversion or a correction or a minor correction. I don't even call it a correction, but we'll start going into the markets themselves. And what I do in the morning, since I looked at the news, I'll put uh, initial bias as positive. If I read in my book, initial bias positive. Because I want to start framing what the market's going to be looking like. Then I'm going to look at my phase. And as you can see, my phase, the very first day, took off and we had a major inversion. So now I'm going to be looking at this line to see if we can reach that goal. If she's pushing back up. Or are we still going to pull on deeper retracement? So I'll crunch up the screen. I'll look at the lowest point of the market where we've hit so far. So we look like we hit support A, B, a little bit through here. Still keeps on pushing down. Maybe down here. We don't know yet. But it's it's it was a, a very, very aggressive run. Then what I'll do, I'll switch it to a 15 minute chart on the swing scan to find out exactly where, where the line of the sand is. This is more of an accurate place. Then what I'll do, change the color. Oops, wrong one. Cancel, let's see here. Let me just like this. I'll change the color first and then I'll put the line in the sand again. And what I'll do is just change it to whatever. Uh, just increase the thickness. So I know when I, and I have them all global, right? So, apply, up, put it there, and I'll lock. Now I know where, where my line is set. 
And the reason why is the Ninja Trader chart on a daily chart closes at, I think, well, for the New York session, I think it's at 3 or 4 p.m. So that line in the sand, I don't really care for. I like it right by more to the main. So, and that's the first thing I do, and I'll look at the bias. And now, since we hit these major lows, we have from six, we still have another 400 point, almost a 400 point round. We have five days left in the market, so maybe she'll bounce off here for the sell phase, and then maybe we're going to punch down one more time. The markets aren't done yet. So, unless if it inverts twice, we'll find out. It's Hindu inversion upon inversion. Alrighty. So let's put it back because if we looked at the past few cycles, see we hit here inversion breakdown to the even point take off take off it was perfect and perfect here, and if you're looking at this pattern, look at this, this is doing the exact opposite. See, so we'll we'll find out here. Now let's go into the four hour chart, so four hour perfect. And let's see what's happening here. See nine o'clock to seven o'clock, so it looks like we're going to be pushing up today. If these times are working correctly, 11 till 9 worked, 1 till it's a crazy one, 11 to 6, this one, this, this was the one that actually failed. This was the major fail, this one has been holding to do playing around, so it looks like we're pushing up. We have a really good aggressive candle for 9 a.m., we're at 9.23, and see if we can at least get back to around 1750-1800. So I'm going to save the green candle there. And then last but not least, do I have it on one minute? That's fine. Now let's see where we're hitting any major support and resistance. And as you can see, the most relevant one, look at that, was right here. We dipped down, came back, we test the, the market maker line, and now we're retesting the, uh, the market, lane, market maker line once again. Let's see, this is the most relevant market maker line right Okay, guys. So that was the previous one. This one. So it went down. Previous market maker came back here. We have a lot of choppiness to chop, chop through here. What's well, the data series here for someone to check it? I don't need 90 days. Let's go 15 for this one. Don't need as much. So there we go. So yeah, there's a few levels, and look at if we can break the 8 800 level to go up here, then I'm really laughing. But we'll we'll see. Okay, and actually what I'm going to do now, um, I've been playing around, what I really like is this day bar. And what the day bar will entail is where the high is. So we can probably get up to 7.15 to 7.61 in the morning. It might crash right down to 12.376 uh, because we're still in negative territory and then punch up again or vice versa. We'll find out. If she starts dro dropping like a tank here... I might short until I get to the zone and then let it bounce up for the rest of the day. It's either or. Okay, now let's transition to the laptop here. The other screen. And we'll work our way down, or the opposite direction. First of all, what I love to do is I want to see if all these markets are following the exact same pattern. And guess what? They are, once again. Even though... We got our bottom peaks everywhere it's around. A nice cup, pull back, cup, pull back, cup, pull back. So we know the markets are in sync. And then what we can do, this one might take a while for it to load. So I'll just give a second here. Let's give it a second. If not, I'll put the video on pause in order for it to get working again. Focus. There we go. Now let's see what the rhythm looks like. See, at 9 o'clock, if I had it at 67, I would have made my money for today. So we'll find out here. Okay, and then we'll go back again. And what I did, I put an add-on today, and it's not 100% complete. But I put current market conditions, the high of the market, the low of the market. So it didn't hit zero, but it started at zero and just tanked right away. And this is where it's set up right now. But it's kind of fictitious until I set up the true range for each session. So just going to give you a heads up on that one. It will be finished. And the nice thing, what we are right now, if we look at our trade map, 
Looks like 10 o'clock is our move again. Always 10 o'clock, boys. Or every traders. Whatever. So it looks like we might be getting whip up, whip down, whip up, whip down, whip up, whip down. Find that. And last but not lot not least. Ultimate goal. Get rid of the Fibonacci's here. The ball drawing objects here. Boom. There we go. And possibility of ultimate target. What I would love to see is a pullback. The pullback I would love to see would be right here. And the reason why I'm saying this is the day bar line is right here. So if it might just retest one time really aggressively and bounce off. That would be my ultimate target. Because if you're looking at this energy, she's pushing up, pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. And getting closer and closer. Other than that, now it's a waiting game. We've got three minutes before the open. And we will start looking what the harmonics looks like. And if she pushes up aggressively, I will create my target up to somewhere here and here from 127 to 761. And we'll go from there. Now, the other thing I, I didn't show you is what our delta looks like. Bring the delta over. Here's our delta. Beautiful delta from, I guess, 5 in the morning. We finally broke this this line cycle forever. Everything else is in the green except for the longer time frame. Short time frame is starting to push aggressively, guys, which is a good thing. But I would love to see a nice pullback down to here. We'll find out first thing once it gets going here. We do have it needs to have punched through a few day trends here. So what was the high on there? Seven sixty one. So seven sixty one is right up here. So we're still within that. Uh, Oops, let me transition here so you can see. Right here, see? We have to punch through a few of these, these levels here. Once it breaks through, we know from 800 all the way up to here, we can just rock it to the bank. Now, let's see what the first morning open price line looks like, and we'll go from there. That's about it. And this is what a life of a day trader is. is. What you have to do is not worry, manage your risk reward, manage your game plan. Uh, it's kind of a one thing of us a catch 22 is it could be a uh, switch to this one here. Well, that's the one I'm in. Perfect. See, this, oh, there is starting to form to that. It looks like it could be a T bar for an aggressive buy or they might just push it down really hard to push it up again we'll find out but you can see there's resistance now now we're getting back into that phase and this is a really big bar here which i like so we know it should be a positive day the only thing we have to watch for i'm going to see if this breaks zero really quickly if it breaks zero really quickly this percentage here because we're right at market open guys if it breaks zero really quickly, I can buy in. And that's the key. See, see, when it was at negative one point, I think it's one percent or something. So that's crazy. There. I got my three charts ready. Looking at my energies. Uh, so we know at 10 o'clock is our big one. And we had one wave, two wave, LA wave, three, 931 could be the sell off, 24% negative, starting up really quickly. We are at market open right now. And now we watch and see. Remember, if we can get down here, this is there's the ultimate goal, but we've got to give it a few minutes for them to play this game. And if it does go up, it's going to go up to this point for this point here. Yeah, I am. What's our volume metrics? Let's see what the volume is right now. There's our red bar. First minute, 4,000 contracts. Let's see what our, our initial range is for the first minute here. Focus this. Go. The only thing is we have to see if it gets into the cloud here really quick. We'll see it went from 0 to 0 0.49.5. Let's see what the delta is. Delta is pushing down really aggressively. Here we got 37.39. 
I think at 45, if this thing comes down to, well, from 951 to 45, we can get to here, I might buy it right at this, and I'm going to take it up. We're going to find out here right away. Let him play this game. Because it dropped 50 points. What about this, guys? From here to here. 72 points. Wow. Wouldn't that be amazing? You could just jump that in right away. If you're, you got a 50 50 shot to make it or break it. Wow. Be back in one second. If it breaks 47, we'll find out here. Alrighty, look at her come. Let her play down. Let's see, we're at negative spot six, seven. Thirty-three, three minutes into the open. So I'll keep this out. Even though it's my Susan. Seven four. What I'm saying is uh, the area of interest, this is the area of interest I'm real. Well, it could be either or. Here or here. I'll take a look at this one first. Get the energy. Let it punch down. And, they, and you might be asking, why am I not taking this? It's uh, because, because the volatility is so high right now, and I was not sure, because we need to see what the, what the trade map is doing. And if we look at our trade map, See, because it's bouncing down, it's coming back. Yeah, yeah. If uh, if I come down, perfect opportunity. That's market open. She's moving really fast. Thank him once again. We're gonna let him get down to here. This is the area I want. Because this is a big gap here to reverse. We'll see what the resistance is on this level. We are below. I take it. And we'll wait till 7.30, So there's two numbers here at 9 for No, I'll wait. I'll just wait until for the half hour. And then what I might do is I might just put it on pause. Or I'll speed up this video like five, seven seconds for maybe 20 minutes before I get into my trade. It's already that would be two thousand dollar move already. Oh, what a push! But we're gonna give it some time. So we're at negative point nine two. It was almost at zero. So they did that first impulse. I don't know if it's gonna end up positive today or negative. Love to get it to four sixty. This is the area I want.
you might ask what I'm looking at. And what I'm looking at right now is I'm looking at this right here. I want to see what the energy is going to hit on the first wave. We had the first impulse move. This thing is moving down. We are moving 121 ticks a minute, which is insane. Um, and I'm just watching what this bar reaction is. And if she's starting to turn around, then we might be able to get it. But I won't, I'll wait until after market open, see what the reaction is. And if not, I'm going to take from the trade from here to here. I know it's a, why you're saying, why so late? It's because we are in negative territory. And it's, it's still playing these crazy games. Now, this is where we are now. Now, what we can do, we have to see what the reaction is. So we're getting high volume back into here. This could be just a test and, and uh, a retrace, remember? Uh, 942. Now we have to see, is this going to hit this line up here at 997 if she takes off after 50? Weird how you see no volume here. See what happens at 942. If this is a if this is a failed signal, we can actually take this. If this one passed, then these two passed. Let's see what happens here. Okay, 42 is activated. We're going to find out if this is going to be a fail signal. See, we're almost at zero, guys. See this? This is what I'm looking at. Need to know if she's just going back to zero and punching down again. Because we drop a percent. So. I'm going to buy it. And what I'm going to shoot for, I'm going to be shooting for... No, it doesn't look like much. But I'm going to shoot for... Some of these charts here. Ninety-seven. If I can get to ninety-seven, that's my goal. Let's look south of ten. Let's see which charts I can close. We're getting too much energy here. Boom! We're gonna close. Ah, of course, an error. Let's see what I have here. I close a lot of these charts. This is what I'm talking about, friends. I'm going to go to 97. This is this chart here? Cross. This is going to go to 97. Uh -huh. You can go 95. Go to 95. You know what? Let me just check something here. Pay bar. I have this. 
I? Where am I? I do have paper. Where is it? Oh, yeah, it is there. Oh, there's a green up here. Now we're at almost 10 o'clock. I'll do a pullback, do it again. I need to do that one more punch here. I'm trying to go over through. Go hit 95 or 90. I don't have my account on. Let's kind of look my account for this right now. There we go. Done and done. So there's your $600 trade. And uh, what I'm looking for is, this is the key what I'm going to look for. So I want to see if it gets to this zone. And then if it does a big, quick sell-off, it'll come back down to here and then try it again. That's what I was shooting for. We're still really early in the morning. We're only 15 minutes. And basically, too bad everything was locking up here. But uh, as, there we go, $585. And so it finally hit my mark. I was trying to get to 97. But uh, when you have volatile markets, this is the key is you got to wait for a pull down. Or if it went really negative, because this was, remember, this was negative 1% here. And now she popped up. And now she's fighting. You can tell she's grinding away, getting some contracts. And they're going to hit this level and then punch down again. And then what you do is you wait for the next runner. Other than that, that's all I want to show you today, guys. It's uh, just make sure you pinpoint your trades, trade safe. If you have any questions, and the reason what my methodology is thinking as a day trader, it's uh, I knew the market after all these sell off we needed that rebound bounce. And uh, because of I was I have I, the reason why I was locking up is I had two indicators that are so CPU and graphically in, intense when it's super high volatility things were just shaking just saying whoa. Anyways, other than that, you guys take care. Have a good one.